Hello guys and welcome to what is it now, the ninth day of the 14 days of summer. Um, well, today we've got the power up LTM solos, which I'm going to jump into in a second, and the six shooter is out of the vault. But also there is something interesting that has come out today, um, which is hinting towards the Fortnite X Stranger Things um, event, which is quite possibly going to kick off tomorrow alongside the release of series 3 of Stranger Things on Netflix. So um, lots to look at but this power up LTM let's hop in and have a quick look. Now it works in two phases. During the first phase you collect your loot, drink shield and so on and so forth. Respawning is on during that first phase. So for the first phase yeah Drinking shields doesn't give you shields, it expands your maximum shield capacity. Then, for the second phase, respawning will be turned off. Your shields will be refilled up to max, and you fight it out like a normal game. So, for the second phase, you could have people that have got like 50 shield alongside people with a thousand shield. It all depends on how much shield you manage to drink in the first bit. So. Find the shields. Drinking shield potions early will determine how much shield health you have at the end of the match. Shield supply shields can be primarily found in supply drops that spawn throughout. Everyone's shields will be refilled when respawning turns off, so drink as many as you can. Um, sounds pretty exciting. Like This is a game mode that I quite was looking forward to, because, I mean, let's be perfectly honest. <clears throat> Who wouldn't? Uh just noticed I didn't have a look at I didn't equip the Neon Tropics wrap for Driftboard because today's 14 days of summer challenge you need to equip the Neon Tropics thing for your uh, the, you need to equip it to your Driftboard because you need to get points with that wrap on your Driftboards so I didn't think to do that that was pretty silly of me um, but yeah so the Stranger Things as well, the portals, there's two of them over in Medmore, you go through one and it leads, it leads you into the other, one's in Flush Factory Shop, one's in, um, I don't actually know how long I have to loot in this game mode. So I should probably be very, very careful. That gave me shield. That didn't expand my shield. Do you really have that little time? Really? Oh my god. That's not long at all, is it? That can't be right, unless Chug Splash don't work effectively. We'll try it with the Slurpees, I suppose. See, the Slurp Juice is working, so yeah, clearly Chug Splash is not the way forward in this game mode. So that's a good thing to keep in mind, guys. So... Get your shields up as high as you can with anything other than Chug Splash. Chug Splash is not the way to do this. Yeah, Chug Splash definitely is not the way to do this. Hmm. That just makes things slightly more problematic. I think I'm running out of time to try and get shield as well. So if I'm gonna expand that anymore, I could do with finding some finding it now. We could always head up onto the mountain, check this chest out. 
Alright, drink that shield pot. And also be very, very careful of the storm. Like I say, I don't... You don't get much time, by the looks of it, to actually get your shields done. So if you are going to expand your shields, you need to do it quickly. I'm not sure when it turns off. Oh! Still got five minutes, I think. By the looks of it, which you're about to see, like storm circle closes in five minutes. Like, so I'm guessing it's as soon as it goes into the next circle, then unless they try to take you into sort of like an end game screen, I don't know what how how this works. All I know is, whilst I've got time to expand my shield cap, I might as well try to. If I can find shield signs. I mean, they did say that shields are primarily going to be in supply drops, but I thought there would still be other shield elsewhere. Hang on, my shield bar's gone up to 195. I've had a slurp and a big shield. So maybe it doesn't take it up linearly like a shield normally does 50. Maybe it doesn't take the bar up by 50 there. That's intriguing to note. Might as well just waste these chug splashes just so that no one else can. There's a supply drop going down over there, guys. And you better hold all this stuff in there. I don't even care if he, if he, like, he kills me. I've managed to get three more shields. Like, like, I've still got respawning available for what two and a half minutes, so So as soon as I come back in I'll drink those three shields just Expand the pot a little I mean Yeah, they are 50 plus shields. So why the hell didn't it give me 50 earlier? That is the question. Alright, let's just fall off the mountain and die. And we can respawn and try and snaffle ourselves another supply drop. There's another one coming down south of the Polar Peak. Or at least near Polar Peak. I can at least get another three shields, that's a, a fair help. Brought it down, but now there's people fighting to try and grab hold of it. Like I say, just three more shields would be really handy, but if I'm going to get them, I need to get them and quickly. Hmm. 
Hmm. I wonder if there's vehicles in this game mode. It would appear that there is. And there's three shields there. Have I got time to drink any of them before? Before respawn goes off. I should have time to at least drink two of them, maybe not all three. Turns out I definitely didn't have time for all three. And it wouldn't let me switch quick enough, so I'll just get away from that guy as quick as I can. There's a guy landing in on it. But whether or not he's weak is another matter. Yeah, he was weak. Well, you know what? I'm not going to complain about a free kill. 445 shields, man. That's a reasonable amount. That guy that we killed clearly didn't have a lot of shield, did he? And also, I have a couple of chug splashes just to heal us back up, actually. I might as well, I can use them, maybe? Is it worth it using it on my... Yeah, it's worth it using it for the 40 shield. If I hold on to them, it's 40 health, but they'll both be 40 more damage that someone's got to deal, so it really doesn't matter if it's health or shield, does it? I know there's another person down on that frosty lake and he'll probably be coming up here soon. Yeah, he is. Whether or not he knows I'm here, though, is another matter. He probably does know my luck. But can he kill me? That's the real question. Wait, is the circle just staying here then for the next five minutes? At least we tagged that guy for about 100. That's 100 shield he's got, he's lost, but it's a, the question is, is how many does he have left? Like, I've taken 100 off, but he could have had like a 1,000 shield. Like, you really, really don't know. You no, know I'm going to probably let him go off and get killed by someone else. And go on a minute. Did I really just see that right? <laughs> someone just dropped, yeah, someone literally just dropped off the uh, sky platform and died. I don't want to go aggressive on anyone because I don't know how much shield everyone's got. Like, I can take, I can take 100 damage at them, tag them 100, but like, they could still have like loads of shield left. And also, I've got natural cover here, so it's a pretty effective spot to be. That guy has a sniper. And he's not afraid to let me know that. Desperate to kill me, isn't he?
Turns out he was weak. Better hurry up and lay it. Oh, let me pick up what I want. Oh, for... Overall, this game mode is brilliant. That guy has 800 shield. Wow. It's a very, very cool game mode. I I must admit, this, this is probably one of my favourites from the 14 Days of Summer. Like, I quite like that game mode. Very, very cool. Um, so, yeah, like, if I rated it out of 10, I'd probably say, like, a solid 9. Um, so, yeah, if you are all online tonight, uh, forget about your friends. Go into this. Like, it's solo only, so, you, like I say, you'll have to forget about your friends. But it's a fun game mode. It's worth it. So, um, on that note, thanks for watching the video, guys, and I'll see you all tomorrow.